Man, what's going on, man? For God's sake, chill down, all right? Chill. Let me read your comments just real quick. All right, it is amazing that you have mastered, you know, weekend test one, two, three, and four, and you're not, you're hardly getting any mistakes. That's a good sign, all right? Mastering the slides, that's a good sign. Stop worrying, all right? All right, let me see, first example. What is your pulse? What is your pulse is a question that a nurse should ask a client with pacemaker that just had dizziness and shortness of breath. It's freaking true, man. It's critical thinking slash common sense, all right? So let me explain why. Let's see if we can do cancellation or whatever. Have you experienced this before? I mean, that will not give me any information. So that should not be the first, I will cancel that. There's other things that are more important. Um, is the area over the pacemaker painful or red? That does not indicate dizziness or shortness of breath. So she's looking for signs of infection. She shouldn't be looking for signs of infection because shortness of breath and dizziness are not signs of infection. All right, so I cancel that one. So I end up with two, which are, what is your pulse? And have you experienced this before? All right, I would cancel, have you experienced this before? I do not care, All right? What I care about is assessing the patient and you know figuring out what's wrong with him. Why do you say, what is your pulse? Man, any patient with a pacemaker, if the pacemaker is troubleshooting or the pacemaker is not working, I mean, just, just think of the indication of a pacemaker. Why, why is the patient having a pacemaker in the first place? Because he has some kind of block, his heart rate is down, so you put a pacemaker and keeps heart rate up. Yes, in a webinar, we didn't explain any blocks. You don't need to. But you know, basic understanding of why do you use a pacemaker for, all right? Pacemakers to keep the heart rate up. So if, if, if the pacemaker is not working, then the heart rate is definitely down. And you need to ask the patient, what is your pulse? Trust me, man. Every single patient who has a pacemaker knows how to take their heart rate. Blood pressure, heart rate, know everything about troubleshooting a pacemaker and know every sign and symptom that they might experience. That's why patient education is very important. Every every patient who, who, who have a pacemaker, the nurse explains everything and then the company explains everything. So, of course, of course the patient knows how to take a pacemaker, man, how, how to take his pulse, man. All right, so this this number one, listen, if you got it wrong, that's fine. You know, why do you think is the reason I send you like exams, study plan, whatsoever? I do not, I do not expect you to do it on your own, right? I've done it, I don't want to say thousands, but hundreds of times before. And you need to experience failure to give you that motivation to, you know, push forward, hit that gas pedal, and, you know, th th just sprint to the end, all right? The purpose of these questions is to teach you other aspects of the NCLEX, all right? So definitely, if you don't know, like a definition of pacemaker, go look it up, Google it. The second question, a client is, uh, also, so any client who's receiving red blood cells and you know, after you started, the patient starts having any signs of reaction, you need to address that right away because that's, that's crazy, all right? Uh, so that's a critical situation. First, start IV D5 water, never. I would cancel that one because with blood transfusions, you use NS. Right, normal sal saline. Uh, discard the blood container in a biohazardous container. Never. If a patient had a reaction, you have to conserve or um, or keep that blood unit aside and send it back to the blood bank to do some testing on it. So, so I already canceled two questions, two answers. Right. Let me see. What's the last one? Decrease the rate of the transfusion. Never. You stop the transfusion right away. So just by using cancellation. You know, strategy, I already canceled three. I ended up with the correct answer. But let me explain the correct answer. Obtain a urine specimen. Yes. If, if you have a patient who's reacting to blood and um, they start breaking down hemoglobin and you can see blood in urine. So uh, blood and protein in urine. That's why they take urine analysis, all right? That's, that's a basic question about blood transfusion. Uh, the first thing you do, you stop the transfusion, you take vital signs, um, you run normal, sal normal saline in a different line, 
and then you take urine specimen and send everything to the lab for testing. All right. So, did you ask me anything else? Oh, fuck no. Of course you're ready, man. You are freaking ready. I know it. If you're not ready, I'll tell you postpone the test. You're freaking ready. I'm just preparing you for worst case scenario. All right. But hey, trust me, you're gonna pass because you're an alpha slice. I'll not be the one who pretend Acting like everything's sane I never asked you to stay But you're staying You're giving it all for the fame Your vanity, you have no shame None of it makes any sense Can you feel 